What's up amigos? Today we're looking at the aerodynamics of a frog on a rocket. So we have the frog here rotating around and let's look at some CFD. So we have some X planes and they go downstream and they're clipping to see just the wake. And a few things that are very interesting. The first one is that the wake is not very unsteady at all. It's very steady still. So even though you have like this frog here, which when you look at it, it looks pretty much bluff because you have the nose pointing up of the frog and then you have its entire chest and like lower mouth, which is hitting the air very straight on. So it's like almost, it's quite flat. So that you'd think would be fairly bluff. But the wake does not represent that. So obviously what's happening here is the frog is more streamlined than what we might think. And we'll look at some other planes in a second to see why. Another thing that's interesting is if you look at the top of each of these planes, you see like there are these two little like loops and they come from the eyes. So even though the eyes are very small compared to like pretty much everything else on the geometry, they have such a big impact on the wake itself. At least that's what I think they're coming from. We'll look at some other planes as well and get a better idea there. So this Y plane goes directly halfway through the frog. So it's getting at the most, um, like the biggest part. And a couple of things again, you can see that this wake is still very well behaved. So even though the presence of the rock, uh, of the frog, sorry, um, does seem to increase the wake just behind the frog, the rest of it seems to be very well behaved still. Now onto the frog, as I was mentioning earlier with the, like the front of its body, even though that is fairly bluff, it seems to behave itself very quickly. And over the top of the frog, the flow does seem to uh, detach a little bit because you can see a lot of um, very dark blue there, but it's not uh, nearly as great as like the rocket itself. So that small uh, localized wake is not a big deal. What's more, when you go a little bit further downstream, so just before the top fin, you can see that the wake is significantly bigger compared to the bottom fin because this is a, a um, symmetrical rocket so the top should match the bottom in terms of wakes so obviously the, the wake of the frog does make a difference but it's still very well behaved downstream now we have another y plane but it's on the very edge of this entire geometry so i wanted to see just how far out the wake of the geometry of this geometry is um, extending and to what extent like the actual uh, magnitudes and we can see that from the back of the the other fin so the like the fin furthest away from us from the rocket that has a little bit of wake which makes sense and then the toes of the frog has a bit of a wake as well now interestingly i think it seems like the wake from this um, plane is a little bit more unsteady than the other wake that we just saw uh, in the other y plane and that makes sense because this wake does not really come from the rocket itself there's a little bit but a lot of it comes from the frog which is more um, bluff body and it's really cool to see how bluff body and streamlined bodies interact so we've done a few different simulations like this but this is another one which has the streamlined object is significantly greater in size than the bluff body and we can see that it does dominate the flow still so even though you might think that bluff bodies are really going to spoil the entire flow um, in certain situations we can see here that the streamlined body can override the uh, the bad wake of a bluff body and now we have a z plane so it's on the very top of the frog's head and this shows just how the wakey the frog should be naturally so we know that the rocket itself is very streamlined so the flow is very well behaved very um uh, there's not much of a wake but this here because the frog is very bluff body we can see just how big a wake there is just from the frog itself so the tiny head makes like a wake which is like four or five times the width of the head like in in width and the flow is a little bit um, unsteady and there seems to be two halves to the flow so the top part and the bottom part and there's a little bit of a periodic um tendency to it which is to be expected because the frog is a bluff body so if there wasn't a, a periodicity to it then it would probably be due to um perhaps their like the wakes not coming off cleanly and also perhaps that the Bluff body may not be as bluff as what we first thought, but here it is a very bluff body, as we suspected. It's just that the rocket is overriding the bluffness of the frog. So that's it in this simulation. Make sure to like, subscribe, and if you want to get better at CFD yourself, check out our courses in the link in the description. And I'll see you next simulation. Peace out, amigos.